You all know him, you all love him. Our guest this week is Eric Lee from Don't Get Drop Cycling. You won't believe how many people joined in Ryan's PB Alps Whip Challenge yesterday. Rob shows us how to draft like a pro and stick around to watch Ryan's new segment, YouTube Video of the Week. His choice this week is incredible. And don't forget our live quiz at the end of the show where you can go head to head with Rob and test his Zwift knowledge. So it's time to get out of the saddle and in the drops. Hey, and uh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to, oh, where's my clapping going? My clapping. Yeah, we are welcome to the number one uh, weekly Zwift centric podcast. My name is Nathan Craig. And together with Rob Bain and Ryan Condon, we discuss the world of indoor cycling, riding, and racing. Uh, we're going to check out some current news, events, as well as share some tips and strategies for new and expert Zwifters alike. Um, in this, so this show is live. We're live on YouTube. We're also live on Twitch. Uh, so come in, join the stream, say hello, um, and uh, yeah, we'll say hello back. Uh, we've got a lot to do in the show, uh, but first let's say hello to uh, Rob and Ryan. Boys, how are we? Rob, how have you been this week? Oh, I've been absolutely amazing. I've done like amazing TTT with uh, HCT. I did a long breakaway in uh, Seaside Sprint. And yeah, I've just been loving all the Zwifty stuff. On you know, what, you know the Alpha Zwift, which I'm, I'm sure we'll talk about more. But yeah, it's all been, <laughs> it's all been super duper. And oh, I'm, awesome. How exciting. We've got Eric Lee. Eric Lee, don't get drop cycling. Eric's ah! going to come up. That's right. We're going to have Eric on the show. Uh, Ryan, how have you been this week? I have been very well, Nathan. I've been awesome. Thank you for asking. Um, I am very much looking forward to tonight's show. I have been hyped about this all week. Um, with last week being my first show co-hosting. I'm glad you're back. Knowing, yeah. yeah. Thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for having me back after letting me in the chat as well. And uh, yeah, just a heads up, guys, those of you that are in the chat, they have allowed me to do it again. Um, and I seem to have got all of my comments stuck on caps lock. So uh, yeah, but um, I'm absolutely, <laughs> I'm thrilled to be here. So yeah, how are you, Nathan? I'm really good. I'm really good. Yeah, I'm super excited too, because it's going to be great to have a chat with Eric uh, in the show, but we've got some awesome things to cover off on. Um, there's a there's a few Zwift Insider stuff and Zwift changes that have been made. We're going to we're going to catch up on that. Um, but I'm keen to really talk about um, your Out the Zwift challenge that you had uh, the other day, or was was it uh, yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah that's it. You, um, you, can I just say for context, right? Nathan has had about three hours sleep, so he was up. What time was you up for the uh, for the climb yesterday? I was up at three twenty a.m. and <laughs> we were cycling by four a.m. I think so. Uh, and that was it was a good event, commitment. and um, and Eric was heavily involved in that too. So well, whilst we're chatting about it now, we're certainly going to chat in a bit more detail when we get Eric on. Um, so I don't want to waste all the good stuff just yet. No, I, I, um, I didn't want to preempt it, but I wanted to context it because yeah, uh, yeah, you correct. Uh, you have worked hard. <laughs> well, not as hard hours. as well. There, there were lots of people working hard in that one, that's for sure. Um, oh, and so from a, a quiz perspective, for those that are new to the show, if you're a first time, we're going to have a quiz later on um, towards the end of the show. It is live. Anyone who's watching can join in and play along and go head to head with Rob um, and test your swift knowledge. Now, I will lace some answers to Zwift questions that are going to be in the quiz throughout the show. Uh, one of them, I believe, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan, you had 241 people actually participate in the ride? Yes. Yeah. That's actually right. Actually participate. In the, in the end, we exceeded. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in the end, in the end, we exceeded 360 signups, but yeah, yeah. unbelievable turnout for the race. Yeah, 366 signups, but we had yeah two actually 241 people turn up in the pen so that was um just fantastic yeah that um, is mental unbelievable so but good news is i think um eric min from zwift has actually heard us and listened to us um and he personally organized for the ability to turn off braking on the zwift play devices just want to let everyone know about that um so you now you have to find a new way to mess up your races now aren't you i know like well a new excuse to like disaster I have I have a long list of abilities and a number of them are messing up races. So, um, but you can so for those that don't know on the zip plays, uh, it used to be that braking is a, a big feature. The paddles on the front of the zip plays, I would I've done that a couple of times where I've gone into a sprint, grabbed the the paddles and and braked uh, like twenty meters before the line. Um, but you now can you now can adjust the sensitivity sensitivity or you can actually turn them off. 
I haven't turned them off yet, but I will at some point turn them you off. You can do it. Can you I ask can a do noob it. question? You didn't need them for the Alp, did you? No, no, yeah, not at didn't all. Need them, no. Eric might Can have. I ask a noob question yes. about the break-in? Um, what, uh, what's the point of, of the break-in? Correct. Exactly. What is the point? Two I, I genuinely mean that. I got the Zwift there, controller there, there are, two weeks ago, so I don't know. <laughs> there are two things. So one um, is if you want to do a bike swap, which you very rarely do nowadays in a race. Yeah. Uh, you you need to be uh, you need to be at a standstill. So break in is the way to do it. And okay. two, very advanced mode. But if you're approaching, especially like a dip into a climb you really want to be at the back. So if you're going down, there's no other way to... You you, you can't go any slower other than break in to get to the back of the group so you can right, okay. get all the draft but as you come into the Hold climb. on. Have you actually done that, though? Have you, in all your time in racing... Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I've never done it. That's, other than that's why he said advanced mode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd sprint it. I've mainly done it in sprints, to be fair. <laughs> I've I've never, you know, I've done it once usefully. In yeah. fact, yeah, yeah. But you've yeah, done that. You've 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 hit the brakes oh, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, All yeah, right. Um, Zwift games. So quickly on the Zwift game stats, I noticed this came up. Um, they had eighty thousand people participate in the Zwift games, which is pretty. That's pretty impressive. Um, the they had uh, two hundred fifteen thousand races were completed. Um, and they had almost 50 races where there was over a thousand starters. So, um, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty impressive. I'll give Swift that. Yeah. They've walloped my whoosh. Haven't they? They've walloped them. Take that. This is where it's at. <laughs> it's all about Swift. Um, now in other news, uh, I don't know if anyone else has seen this come up in their feed, but there's a guy, um, who, his name is Duncan Covey who decided to just basically give up his job and ride around the world. So he's, I think he's on day 13 now. And I was just looking at his Instagram before. And don't ask me why my the screen here is so, um, there we go, dark on there. But um, basically, yeah, he's just cruising around the world. I think he's on day 13. He's clocking up these huge Ks and, um, yeah, decided just to go ride his bike. So that's pretty impressive. That is impressive. Yeah. That is impressive. How far has he got? Uh, I think he's on day 13. He's done. I was looking at his Strava a bit earlier on, which I don't have on my screen right at the moment. But, um, yeah, he's, he's rocked up uh, like 2,000 kilometers so far in the first week and a half, two weeks. So, okay. yeah. And he's basically just camping by is the side of the road. Is he aware that there's, like, there's not a land bridge all the way around the world? You, you do have to go. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what he's going to do, but maybe... He he's just... gonna he's gonna zwift on the on the boats on yeah. the ferries across. <laughs> we'll just ride right around the deck. One of the two. Yeah, yeah just... it, It's about forty thousand kilometers all the way, so he's made it a good good you know a decent fraction. Yeah, say. yeah. But uh, as you say, Rob, though, be less because it'll be it'll be interesting to see how he goes once he gets to the difficult wrong. countries. <laughs> yeah. He wants Are to we gonna the... do like a thirty second update every episode? Oh, I can't. As he progresses, I'll I'll keep I'll keep on him. Yeah, yeah. see what's That'd happening. Be interesting, because at the moment, I mean, to be fair, he's on a jolly through it through Italy. So yeah, you know, it's not massive, massive challenge. But uh, when he hits out of Mongolia, that'll be interesting. What's wrong, Rob? You look concerned. He's lost his. He's lost his mic. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's, got, <laughs> he's slowly he's removing. removing. Just, just for Just people, people that are listening to now this got, podcast, now Rob has slowly, slowly removed his head. And now we've got Echo, Rob. And now we've got Echo, Rob. Oh, yeah. oh crap. Um. <laughs> I'm just going to zoom in on Rob here and watch him stress. So, yeah. This is, this is, this is um, one, of one of the reasons you should watch us on YouTube, YouTube just, so just so as you can see Rob, Rob do a do changeover on his headphones. I'll have to go to call center headphones. Now you look really professional. you look really professional. But, but that's better. Hello, you're talking to Rob Bain. How can I help you? Your customer <laughs> service is important to me right now. <laughs> All right. Is that good? Are we good? Yeah. Rob, you're cool give, give, can you give me a nod to say that it's okay? Satisfaction. You can't hear us. <laughs> Hang on. 
Uh, just uh, talk amongst yourselves while I try and sort this out. Um, what's he got? I feel, I feel like the pressure's been dropped on me now, Nathan. Yeah. To, to hey, Rob. Hey, no, put your headset with... back on, Rob. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can you hear us? Put your other headset back on. <laughs> Put your other. Right, the one. Yeah, yeah. Can you hear us you now? Hear yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> all right, let's keep on, yeah. hey. All right. Sorry about hey, that. That's sorry. Right. That, sorry. That that wasn't dramatic at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, very oh, quickly, yeah. let's let's just kick this on so we can get Eric onto the show. Uh, yeah. So Maddie Leroux. Um, so she re- she was on the room. The room. The room. The room. The room. Well, we had one professional cyclist on, and then as soon as she came on, you were like, Maddie LaRue. Maddie LaRue. It was like, Maddie LaRue. Maddie LaRue. It was the first thing you said. Maddie LaRue. What, how, what do you say again? Row? Try again. LaRue? Is it LaRue? LaRue. Okay, it's LaRue. Jesus it's the Australian man. accent. It's just yeah. the Australian accent. It goes yeah. up at the end. I mean, there's this one thing an Australian should know how to say. It's Rue. It's like you've got them everywhere. I'm like, like, so don't we, tell me Australians can't say "rue." We get we get thrown off when you put X's in the words. <laughs> we don't know how to handle them. Um, so Maddie Larue, uh, Larue raced yeah, on the weekend in the GP Chambry. Is I'm, am I pronouncing that correctly, Rob? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um. Uh, team did really well. Uh, they finished eighth, eighth, and fourteenth. So we're going to um, we'll make sure that we keep on Maddie and um, and follow how she goes in uh, her season. Um, additionally, we've also I just want to quickly touch off for those that are interested in um, training. The Zwift have uh, launched their spring training. Um, what is, what I call it? Spring training series has been has been announced. So um, I'd be interested in anyone in the stream that um, ha- is going to have a go at um, trying that out. So if you are and you do have a go at it, let us know what you think. Rob, you're not going to give it a go, are you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I nope. tried to find an on-race that I'd done uh, in my activity list uh, this week. I just could not find any. There's yeah. literally none. <laughs> All right. Um now, Rob, really quickly, uh, Zwift inside a test, um, uh, what wasting? Yeah, I think, I think he's really underplayed it actually, but I think uh, Eric, friend of the show, has done the most important Zwift tips video ever this week. And it shows you uh, how the, the, the vast difference in what that you can put out without moving position so he set up a uh, robot going at a certain pace a uh, certain watt per kilogram so that's riff inside of one ahead and then he varied the watts of the rider behind and it turns out like just if the rider in front's doing four watts per kilogram so about 41 k per kph on the flat uh the rider behind can either go at i think it's 170 and be fine, stay in the same position, or go at 230 and just stay in the same position. So if you go on at 230, you're wasting 60 watts. Right. And now I think I kind of, yeah. I, yeah. It's a complete waste. You're in the same position and you just... This blew my mind. When I saw this video, yeah, this this was an eye-opener. Because yeah. we've all seen this happen. Zwifters, Eric, with Zwift and insider I, here wanting to I demonstrate think this is what I... A little can you turn the audio off? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, turn it off. The watt-wasting window. There you go. And I think this is why I do quite a surgy thing because what I, what I do in order to utilize this is I deliberately drop off the power until I see the um, gap growing yep. and then I push it back on. So I'm, I know that I'm doing that. And of course, you know, no one's going at the pace, you know, a steady pace of a robot. So it's actually more difficult in real life to get that. And you have to actually test it to see, you know, how much can I back off? How much can I back off? And then you put yeah. it back on to come back on, and then yeah. you back off again. And that's, I think that's how everyone should race. Yeah, you know, I'm not saying everyone should be like me, but you should definitely be like me. But but the thing is with this, when I watch this, is that nobody actually knows the ins and outs of Zwift to the point where it's as 
um, obvious to a lot of people. So you yeah. get these anecdotal feelings after a race where you think to yourself, I tried, I was doing all these watts. People around me weren't doing as mm. many watts. Mm. And, you know, it, it, you can see it from this video. This clearly shows how much of a difference it, it, it makes when you're trying to keep up with someone. If mm. you're in their draft, you could be doing less watts. It's, yep. You know, it's obvious. Yep. And we've all felt it. We've all felt it. Yeah, now weirdly, he says, I, I think you can only really use this in TTTs. Like, what? No, no this is the race. Use it all the time. The way through the race. Yeah. Mm. Through every race. If you're at the back, I mean, even if you're in the middle, to be honest, you know, it doesn't really, but the, the advantage of being at the back is that you can see when you're dropping off the group because you're the last person. But um, yeah, I think it's I think it's the most important thing to learn about Swift. And we're going to talk so, about yeah, a bit. What, what he's showing here is that how much that's gone up now, and he's still in that same draft, and he's mm, only yeah, now moving yeah. forward because he's matching the same pace. Mm. Um, and and you know, if he's in the wind, it's he can't he can't keep up. So it's it's interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. Good find, Ryan. <laughs> All right. There he's uh, on the, the number one Swift website. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and we're going to talk a bit more about um, drafting uh, later. Are we going to do that, Rob? Or we... uh, well, I suppose it does segue into it now, doesn't it? I'm, I'm doing a, uh, a series of master classes yep. on drafting. And I've done lesson one, which is just drafting behind one person. So it's very similar to this, really. Yep. And if you put, uh, do you want to play the video or? Oh, we... we can. Yeah, we can do it now. Hang on one second. You just uh, sit right there. And I'm going to bring up the drafting lesson. So you want, to, want me to play it? Yeah, go on. With, with the audio. Sure thing. So I'm riding against the B pace, uh, Robo Pacer, which is called Genie. I'm just going to try and stay the same distance behind the pace partner, uh, Robo Pacer. How I do that is by taking a standard. So what I'm looking at is the top of my head. I want the top of my head to be level with either the kind of mid patch on his back or his seat, maybe a bit further back. But if I see myself, see more of that become invisible, like now, I'm just gonna increase my power slightly until it goes, or until I see, actually more, till I see it dropping. So I can see it dropping now, so I'm easing off. I'm gonna move my uh, settings to one second so you can see better. I can see myself dropping off a bit. Let's move it to instant. Okay, so as soon as I can see the yellow of his tube in, I'm going to accelerate. And when I can't, I'm going to drop off a bit. So I'm just dropping off now, and now I can see it, so I'm going to increase a little bit. Just nice and smooth. Might not seem smooth to you, but I've got 10 hertz updating on. I'm just increasing. Oh, is this a long version? I can see no, my it? head's becoming level with the seat again, even though I'm going around that corner. I'm dropping off a bit. And at the is there another version? The angle oh, was kind a of brief one. I maybe uploaded the wrong one. I could tell I was getting in range. <laughs> well, leave it there. That's, that's, yeah, that's I think here's about well perfect. I'm just going to increase a little bit. Yeah, so I've done that, and I'll release that as a, a standalone on In The Drops. Uh, if I carry on increasing, I'll just stay in steady. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's lesson one, and yeah, it's just just about like trying to use this standard so you can view whether you're going uh, forwards or backwards mm. in the draft. There, there, I'm a bit farther forward. So, yeah. and and I think that's what it's all about. It's like dropping off. How much can I drop off? Oh, I'm dropping back. Therefore, yeah. I'm putting some more. Yeah. And it's just trying to optimize that what wasting window of you don't want to drop off, uh, but you do want to use the the minimum what's possible. Mm. Perfect. Yeah, no, I'm going to look forward to those. I think the, you do a great job of um, of really dialing into the exact position you, you need to be in with the drafting and just with racing in general. So for anyone that does uh, fancy racing and wants to get better at racing, uh, these are the videos to watch. Can I also add to that as well? For anyone 
uh, if you were like me when you first got into Zwift, I found Rob through his YouTube channel and a lot of the uh, things that I know about Zwift are because of his live, live stream. So if you want to see real masterclass videos, you should definitely check out Rob's at Zwifty Zwifter YouTube channel. Yes. Because I know Rob wouldn't say that himself. So. <laughs> well, yeah. Self-promotion yeah. is not one of the things. Occasionally I do. I do yeah. <laughs> As opposed to telling people not to subscribe to your channel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not sure what's more impressive, Rob, your, your drafting ability or the uh, fact that you've put a red arrow in one of your edits. Yeah. That took me <laughs> two hours. <laughs> 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 and the bleeping noise as well you know wow yeah. it's like editing's next hard. level hollywood stuff but er, er, we're we will, gonna get we will make a youtuber out of you yeah yeah we're gonna get eric on the show he's gonna tell us how he does it all because uh that's um he does it pretty well um hey let's get yeah. eric on the show um yeah. so just before you do can i ask yes. nathan just before you introduce eric can i ask a question sure so have you have you verified that it's the real eric yes <laughs> have you I have we, you yeah, have. We have, have done that. Have we, and have we got any way? Yeah. Have we got any way we can double check though? Because we can't have anyone mm, pretending to be. To be you don't want false Eric. Eric's, do you? No. 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 We, we, and, I mean, there is only one Eric. I mean, there's lots of Eric's really, but there's only one. I mean, Eric. we 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 have to have the real deal. Don't get drop cycling. We have to have the main man himself. We can't have any impersonators. So. If only there was some sort of verification scheme. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I wonder. Is it like? Is there a way that we can visually check this? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it, with with AI now, you can have fake fake video, and there's only one way. Yeah, deep fakes. Yeah. I don't know if that'd be deep possible fakes. though with Eric, though, would it? <laughs> Could you have AI generate something about with Eric there? And I don't I think, think it's that advanced. It no. couldn't possibly simulate it. <laughs> we all know there's only one way to be verified. That's right. All right. Um, so we've spoken enough about him. Uh, let's get Eric on the show. Hey, 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 Welcome to Eric! Oh wow! Yeah, hey, buddy! Oh, the balloons are back! The the balloons. Balloons. <laughs> Hang on, did what was that? Was that confetti in there? The balloons again? I don't know where that's coming from. That's it. <laughs> I've got this magic balloons that appear for some reason and I just can't figure out where that's coming from. I've got no idea. Oh, that's incredible. Um, uh, yeah, so... It's um, the king Eric, of YouTube Zwifted. Thank you very much for joining oh, us. No, no, no. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Thanks Are for you, having me. Thanks for having me. You do, you do an awesome job. In actual fact, we were talking earlier on about how um, how great your, 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 your racing videos are, your videos are in general. Um so tell us, you, what, what, what got you into doing YouTubing? Oh, I mean, um, we all know what happened in 2020. Yep. So, no, I what? mean, I got into cycling, obviously, <laughs> and uh, I just couldn't get enough. Um, but in Canada, we have winter. So I wanted to keep going, and I heard about something called Zwift. Yeah. And I got my hands on a trainer, got on Zwift, and uh, I mean... First few, first few weeks, I think I only did like group rides and was yeah. trying to just, you know, dip my toes into it. And then like, I, I watched a ton of videos already on racing. Like, oh my God, I was already scared. Right. But then once I did that first race, it was game over. Like I was absolutely hooked. So, you were hooked. Yeah. Um, absolutely hooked. It only took a couple of races, got into BCAT and just like, uh, everybody that gets into a new category. I was getting absolutely destroyed. So yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, what wait. I did. Yep. Yeah. Now go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to no, ask. I was gonna so, say what I, <laughs> no, no, you go, you go, you go. Well, I'm just, I was just going, I was going to comment on the fact that I thought you had been um, a long time cyclist and had just gotten into doing swifting. So 2020, nope, not at all. that first time. Yeah. March, 2020, uh, yeah. I decided to start riding a bike. Wow. Because I was okay. bored. I was yeah. bored of walking around. I was kind of in <laughs> the middle of, of my around. weight loss journey. Yeah. And um, I was only walking at that point and uh, got on a bike for the first time in a long time and yep. ended up going out for like 45 minutes. And I was like, oh, that's I've never biked this far or long before ever <laughs> in my life. <laughs> then I did it the next day and then the next day and yep. then the next day. 
and I did seven days in a row, and then a month, and then I never stopped after that, pretty much. So that's incredible. I'm hooked. And did you like, say? Did you hooked. say? When you when you started on Zwift, you went straight into B category. Uh, well, I started in C, and I did nice probably. Stuff. If you check my Zwift power, there's maybe like five races I did. I and got, then you went into B, and then I I got booted out of one because of my watts per kilogram, but I was still a C. And then That's I really won a race. Eric. <laughs> I won a race and that race and then I got disqualified for oh, wow. having too much watts per kilogram. And then I was in the world of B cat all immediately. So that's on the it, it, it just took it just took probably a couple races to figure out how to suffer. And yep. as soon as you figure that part out, it's game on. The rest of its history. So hey. that's where you got the name from because you were in B cat without uh, any Yeah. So I got it in on preparation got dropped every single time <laughs> and the goal after that was to don't get dropped don't get dropped, dropped. Yeah. and then or drizzy dropped or is that later <laughs> yeah i came a little later trying to be all <laughs> extra <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and and one of the questions i wanted to ask sorry yeah, nathan go ahead. Um, one of the questions i wanted to ask was at what point after you'd got into zwift did you say right i need to share this i need to film this and I need to share this on YouTube. I think I started sharing it right away. Like I shared a race right away. Yep. And then like going up the uh, Alp under an hour was like my second video ever. And it just Oh man. Blew up. This is yeah. getting worse. Hang on, hang on. So uh, straight <laughs> straight into straight into base. And you're telling me you didn't do a year of, of intensive suffering. racing. Just to win <laughs> no, a race of no. suffering. I, yeah, it just um, went straight into me. And, and then and then the second sentence you've then said your second video was an under an hour up the house. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do this know. podcast Maybe. anymore, Nathan. <laughs> Ryan's about to quit. Eric, you've just I'm single done. handedly <laughs> destroyed him. I'm but done. although That's although it. you you had a weight journey going on, <laughs> yeah, I mean I was in the you must have had an athletic background journey. as well. Uh, you I mean, must, I you had an athletic hockey background when I was a kid. Yeah. I was a typical Canadian. Played hockey when I was young. Played badminton. Um, I mean, I rode bikes like you know with my friends and stuff, but nothing like competitively or anything like that. So, uh, and then after that, I played golf. And that's it. Wow. Oh really? I thought you were a gym bunny as well. No. Oh yeah, actually yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, I had a stint <laughs> in the gym, like maybe two okay. years, where I went to the gym quite a bit, okay. like deads. Okay, so what? So what you're saying everything. is you were a professional athlete, a <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. in every field that you did, <laughs> yes. and then you everything started. Everything I do. Okay, I feel better. I try <laughs> to look okay. professional. Right, that's okay. Right, I'm staying here yeah, now. That's yeah, fine. Ryan's latching onto anything you can you can hold on to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, that's anything incredible. to justify a year of uh, of zero achievement. That's a fine. That's fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was riding bikes before I got on Swift, so I mean, come on. Yeah, that's good. That's you okay. started on Swift, and now you're going outside. It's the other way around, right? It's the other way around. Yeah, Swift has got me into cycling. Which, when I See? first ever uh, got my watt bike, I said never. I said to my missus, I filmed it. Do not let me buy a real bike. <laughs> I said I was only going to have one bike, but now and I then, have like too yeah. many. Yeah. And Proceeds to go out and buy a bike. Everything. It's out of control. <laughs> yeah. That's well, yeah. that one behind you is very pretty. I don't know much about bikes, but I love the color. Oh, it's my favorite. I love it. Is that um? What's the one behind you? Is that uh? I was just trying uh, to remember the chapter two. Chapter two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me go this way. Yeah. It's a chapter. Oh, 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 oh. No, and I is that the wrong camera? There we go. Chapter two. Is that your main yeah, outdoor is. Is bike? That... Yeah. Yeah. This is my main outdoor bike. Take us through it really quickly. So, what's the drivetrain on it? Oh, I got, I got, uh, Dura Ace ninety one hundred mechanical. Ah, uh, yep. Front derailleur, rear derailleur. I got an Altegra uh, cassette because I'm trying to save some money there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I even have the stock 105 shifter still on there. And oh, wow. Are like, what? No, the, the 105s. Everyone just needs to look right here. Everyone just yeah, needs to look right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say you're. I, I think the spike, those spiky things are really important, you know. Mine <laughs> stopped, stopped working this week. We got, and the bike uh, was just rubbish. <laughs> We got wind space wheels. We're running either the hypers or the megas. So yep. it's pretty awesome. They I love it. I can't speed. complain. Well, that is cool. That is cool. Well, I built it your myself. bike, your bike in the background is getting a lot of love in the in the in the chat in the comments. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And I've, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Seen it you. on um, Instagram a lot. Um, we will talk a bit more about wind space a bit later on the show. But um, so you you're definitely getting out and riding more in real life now. 
Oh yeah. As the weather turns, uh, yeah. my main goal is to try to go outside as much as I can. So, I mean, the whole reason of riding inside is to smash outside. So yeah, uh, the weather is getting better and, uh, I, I can't wait for the sun to come out and I just can't wait to go ride with the squad. So. Yeah. Hold up. And all those <laughs> fires to start up again. <laughs> oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. Fires. <laughs> Well, yeah, there were fires Canadian last fires summer or... and making the air yeah. all bad. Oh, I yeah, if okay. I, if I was to be good with my wife, I yep. was to not ride outside. Yep. So, so at least I had Swift. Riding outside, yeah, you then, you do that. you what do you have to look out for outside in Canada? Moose? <laughs> I live in the city, guys. <laughs> like, it's not that stereotypical. Like, if Just I live bears like, instead. <laughs> I mean, if we were in Vancouver, yeah, we can talk about bears. We can talk about moose as soon as yeah. you get into the mountains, for sure. But, like, I literally live uh, – we got skunks. Yeah, okay. Dead ones, Ooh. usually. Yeah. Raccoons. Right. Dead ones, usually, first thing in the morning. <laughs> we got squirrels that really just play life or death. So, mostly dead. And me. Mostly dead. <laughs> And then you got rabbits on the path at night. Uh, I have a video okay. coming out soon of me riding at night, and uh, I probably got almost uh, run over four or five times. Or actually, I almost did the running <laughs> over. I was going to say, how big are these rabbits? <laughs> yeah. Can't blame the rabbits, man. They <laughs> You're just the come one. out of nowhere, though. <laughs> so, um, so the hang on. We've taken a lot of blame in this situation. <laughs> Does that mean you'll be spending less time on Zwift then? Uh, a little bit less, yes. Oh. But I mean, at the end of the day, I would still be trying to race as much that, as possible. Does that mean you're going to ramp, ramp up your vlogging videos? Uh, it depends if uh, they're interesting. I mean, most of my regular rides outside are just me going and hitting the same roads. But if I get together with the club or do something interesting, I'm going to definitely try to put something together because yeah. the, the one that I just made uh, to Niagara seems to uh, have done pretty well and everyone seems to yeah, like yeah. it. So yeah. Definitely gonna oh, try might you try a real race? Things someone, more things. someone in the chat app happened if you... Oh, actually, you... I'm uh, I'm doing a gravel race yeah. at the end Ooh. of May. So I'll probably strap the camera on and see what happens. Uh, I'm probably going to end up getting smoked, but that's the whole point, right? I can't wait. I'm actually pretty excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's cool. what kind of length races are you looking to get into on the outside then? Uh, I'd say anything 100, yeah. 100 or more. So, uh, more endurance. I'm not too into the crits. Like, yeah. uh, I mean, I'm into them. They're cool and they're fun. They look fun. They're fast, but I, I'm just not down for the crashing part. So, because <laughs> 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 that's why everyone... I hit the deck a few times already, and like, really, I don't need to do it in like, yeah, I don't need to be doing it in a group of a bunch of people no. going 40, 50k. Like, that's just not, yeah, yeah. I'm good. And there's but a, I'm looking yeah, for like road races. Serious, serious, Unfortunately, so. here in Canada and Ontario, there's not too many road races, right. so. Yeah, uh, gravel's really the way to go. Yeah, to find some like good smooth gravel. Okay, and um, yeah, I'm into like 100, 120, you know, yeah. anything long, man. You know, yeah. I gotta, gotta get rid of all the people that have no endurance, <laughs> <laughs> just be the only one left. <laughs> yeah, well, Hopefully. hang on. So, so what's the, the day? I'm gonna probably be the last one. What's the longest ride you've done so far then? Uh, 320. 30 kilometers Damn, what? jesus yeah 200 yeah double century yeah plus a wow. little bit more where was that but what? it wasn't solo or anything it would be uh so i do a yearly double century yep. with uh, my club and we go all the way down to niagara falls we kind of take the long way yep and then That's come cool. all the way back and then i ride to the start and the finish and then i might probably wake up a little early to get a few extra kilometers in because that's like my one day a year where I try to get my double century, my biggest ride of the year. Wow. That's wow. incredible. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's cool. Rob, what's the longest ride you've done outside? Um, oh, I think it was 100 miles. Yep. Oh, I did. And then I had to come back again because the train, I'd missed the train by like five minutes. So I had to, I had to ride again. home. I was like, oh. And it was right into a headwind, like 12 miles home. Uh, the worst. Yeah. There's too much headwind, there's worse. Well, and Ryan, because you've got. Um, Are you going to ask me how far I've ridden? Outside? No, no, no. I wasn't going to ask you that. But you have. That's what you're going to. Okay. 20 uh, yards. I recall that you've, you, have, you, you are in the, in the process of purchasing a bike. I am, yes, yes. Yeah, it's been delivered. Go... Um, 
Yep. It's been delayed. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It was supposed oh. to be delivered yesterday, and uh, I got an email, so it's been delayed. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, there's a there's a crank thingy oh. that's coming from Australia, and oh. uh, yeah, they've uh, yeah. Oh, those Australians, man, that's don't... the straight bit. Uh, attached them. to the front spiky bits. The spiky that, bits, yeah. Uh, yeah. That would be this bit right yeah. here. Is that that bit there? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The so, yeah, that Aussie bit of the bike <laughs> is uh, is causing the delay. I wonder where that's coming from here, though. Anyway, what's... um? It's not. I made that up. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> um, Eric, just when you're pointing back to your crank there, what's on the front of yours? Is it a um, 36... Uh, 36... Oh, it's a spiky thing. Look, no, you can I want to know. It's like, it's, it's, it's got, like is it a like compact, semi compact? To make the wiggly yeah. metal what, bit. What? No, the, man, it's so a this, big boy. The big size boy. of the cogs. So it's a 52 on the front, is it? Chain. No, it's a 53, sir. Ooh. Hey, yeah. pushing, the, pushing the big ones. And then we got 1130 in the back. Oh, okay. Yep. But it's flat. Just here. the way he says it, just Very the way good. he says it, I know that's impressive. Yep. I'm I just being extra for no reason at all. <laughs> it. I love it. What wheels have you got, Eric? About? I want to sound like I know what I'm talking about. What wheels? They're the round got? ones. Look, they're, they're look the wind round ones. Yeah, the round uh, ones. The Today yeah, special. We got the mega wheels here, and then we got the hypers yeah. in the back, and we got yeah. more just hanging around everywhere. It just, <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I just love yeah, the fact that we've got I, new I got, subscribers. I've gotten way joined. too into biking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just love the fact that we've got new subscribers and people that are in the chat for the first time, and we're asking Eric, "What wheels have you got? They <laughs> look really shiny <laughs> and and fast. I can talk bikes and all fast. day, yeah. all day long. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Can I ask a question? Yes. Um, the question that everyone in the chat wants us to ask, and this is uh, this is a big one, Eric. This is a big one. So um, first off. I want to say congratulations because you have officially become verified mm. on Zwift. You are now the real, what is it? What is it? The real deal. Real deal. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you have made it. You have made it, my friend. What? So, um, uh, how does that feel? It's, it's hilarious, yeah. honestly. It, I mean, it was just a joke at the end of the day to get oh. verified, somehow be verified. Yeah. Every time I ran into a Zwift employee on Zwift, I'd be like, hey, what do I got to do? <laughs> do <I feel> <laughs> That's cool, man. Nah, it's it. like a Everybody ceremony tricky. where you get sworn in and you, you're going you, to swear to uphold the Zwift values. No, no. Like all it. it takes is finding the right person. Yep. And they just That's they it. verify That's it. it. But it also, what, what, it also, what also it takes is that they got to come reach you first. Oh, and they come see that's... you. Yeah, well, they you talk you. to them. You don't. You don't do. talk to them. We talk to you. you. Handshake. They come knocking. Gotcha. In. You get the verification <laughs> badge. And that's it. It, it does and feel like a bit it. like that scene in the Goodfellas where Tommy gets gets made, and then you know they all feel like they're going to get made because they've got one on the inside. <laughs> so that does end up with Tommy getting whacked. So yeah, let's yeah. Hope. Doesn't work out well. To be fair, Nathan, you did say it was the only reason you invited him on the show. Now. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only so we could leverage the. the uh, I came on. Yeah, uh, so so we could leverage the um the the quality. Leverage the the, the yeah. orange tick. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, we've got a main man. Sense. We've got a main yeah. man on the inside now. Because now I like it. I like it. Right. By default, we all get. I orange need to ticks. change my. I need to be very unprofessional and change the battery on my camera. My new really expensive DSLR camera. <laughs> what now? I, I specifically set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I specifically set up for Eric. <laughs> Because I wanted to be in full HD glory. Oh, uh, Eric's um, loving I, this. It's now flashing, so I just need to quickly change this. So <laughs> please excuse okay. me for two seconds. Oh Go right ahead. Oh um, Eric, so does it give you anything more? Like, do you get no, anything else? Nothing. No, just get a tick. Nothing. You just get a tick. You don't get yeah. invited to, uh, uh, you know, internet parties. Point. Internet points. Internet points. Oh, people get a bit freaked out, assumedly, when they see you in a race. It's like, oh, a verified person. I'm like, ooh, wow, well, ooh, verified. Well, they already know <laughs> when I'm coming yeah, exactly. into a yeah, race. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, all, yeah, yeah. it's already, like, as soon as I pop into a race, no matter five minutes, two minutes, one minute, it's a big one. Yeah. Someone's going to be like, oh. <laughs> we're gonna more be people. on youtube everybody <laughs> <laughs> more people so, climbing the out like, yesterday at the end of the day everybody already knew like you know everybody already knows the jersey everybody knows the headband uh everybody knows the bike like yep. they all know i'm there already yeah. so but yep. it makes it way yep. more fun like at the end of the day if i if, it, if the tables were turned 
I would be fired up and then I would be trying to drop myself. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It speaking, makes it very fun. Speaking of getting dropped. That's another good reason Rob, not to have many subscribers like me. <laughs> Rob, do we want to we'll, – we'll, we'll, Eric, stay there. We're going to come back to you. Um, Rob, we're going to quickly touch on the ZRL uh, race for next Tuesday, the final. Yeah, bloody hell, time's flying. Look at the time already. <laughs> wow. Um, okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do some – race so, week on. Do you want to go through the, oh, the graphic first? Oh, put the picture up first? Yeah, yes, I can. put the picture up. So the finals on Tuesday, it's you know, usual RTWTRL chaos. They are not being <laughs> very clear on the rules. Yeah. But uh, five, it's it's two races effectively combined as one. So all the points from the first race and the times from the first and second races get combined. So your finish time is actually your combined time. Five laps, oh, okay, yep. Glasgow forward. Five laps, Glasgow reverse. You've got FAL on the second and fourth laps. And I think, I'm pretty sure, though, who the hell knows, FTS <laughs> will count. You know, you'll get one FTS on the first, one FTS. So Glasgow crit, we've done that two or three times. You know the score. Uh, uh, Clyde kicker, you get points on. And the, Glas uh, the champion sprint. So it's... FAL for them. So on laps two and four, do the Swifty manoeuvre. You'll you'll annihilate them, yep. and then do it for the finish, obviously. And then Glasgow uh, reverse. I've picked up Eric's ride. That I did. I picked up the last ride as a bit of a recon, and we can have a look at the segment for that. Okay, let's um, yeah, let's get that up. Hang on one second. Do you do you like Glasgow reverse, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, so here you know we are. What? I do. I do like it because <laughs> yeah. I'm a punchy rider. So <laughs> That's right, yeah. I do. So like it is it. it's probably even it's got two two main punches really. So you you come down, you know, from the uh this is where the Zwift maneuver normally starts. You you're you're a fan of the Zwift maneuver as well. Like oh, I am. I am. <laughs> and then the uh you do this 7% <laughs> which I think is the main uh which is the main sort of feature yeah, of the isn't... course. It, yeah. It's bloody hard. Yeah. And you know it's just seven percent all the way up, pretty much. And then you, then the the segment actually starts here, which is utterly weird. The segment starting at the top of the hill, hmm. but there it is. And then you go down into a descent. So you probably want to be um, for the FTS lap, probably the first lap. You probably want to try and adjust your position so you're not you know going over that first, but you want some speed going into it. So it's going to be very tricky to approach it. But you want to be at the back of the group, but with speed going into it. And then you come down these, you know, come down these rollers. And then maybe if you've got a, um, a, an arrow, you want to fire it there. If you've got a feather, fire it here. Got a truck, you can fire it a bit earlier. And then wang up this final, uh, final little ramp. It's only, it's only like three or four percent, I think, isn't it? Most of the way up. I can't actually see the percentage thing. Oh, and I've just screwed up my own display. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the segment ends there. Uh, Come down the Clyde Kicker. Uh, you got this little plateau in the middle, so you uh, probably want to push a bit on the plateau and rest on the downs. And then, as you come into the finish, uh, at about so just round this corner, there's a little gradient where you could attack from uh, for the FTS uh, for the FAL laps. Oh, this is the this sorry, this is the kicker that I was talking about. So you can either attack on either of those little little ramps, and then you've got the sort of U-turn. As you approach the finish, where uh, you won't have steering, but you know you do drop people out of the draft on those. Uh, so if you get a lead going into those, that can be quite handy. There we go. Uh, honestly, I didn't even know that um, they'd alternated the, the laps uh, for the FAL points. So thank you very much for that, Rob. I'm actually in the race on Tuesday, so perfect. Oh, that's the first. That, that was the first. Um, what you call it? Uh, Sunday roast we did, wasn't it? You on yeah. the Glasgow crit. Yep. So no, I absolutely just smashed it. Always it makes me smile. <laughs> yeah, you were great. I was awesome. <laughs> I got absolutely cooked. So I've got a quick question for Eric. Yep. Someone's mm -hmm. just asked, Artie's just asked in the chat, when are you going to move up to A? <laughs> oh. When Zwift Power tells me to. When when your yes. YouTube channel, yeah, when your YouTube channel of not getting dropped Sats. actually comes into effect. Yeah. I could go to A and survive on the flat, but as soon as we hit a bump, like, yeah. 
Yeah. I, I just cooked. don't produce that watts per kilogram. Yep. It's just, yeah. just not fun. I think is RT, RT just, just wants possible. company. Is yeah. it? Yeah. RT just wants company. So you're just sort of going to... It would be company, though. It would just be... Video just going back, but I, it's, I'm going to break rule number one, and I'm not going to have fun, so why? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. No, I agree. I agree. That's always the way, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I want to talk about... Oh, 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 oh uh, stop, stop, stop. I want to talk about um, what happened yesterday. So, Ryan, um, I'll let you um, take it from here, but uh, you organised an Up to Zwift PB challenge um, yes. to try and break your – what was it? Break your – or get, get a PB, but also break your 80-minute? So I was going for sub-80. Yep. Um, so the story is it goes like this. Uh, I – I've ridden out five times now and my PB was 85 minutes, 35 seconds. I thought because I made loads of mistakes, mm -hmm. as you always do when you do something like this, you think you can always do this section better. You could have gone a bit faster here. You should yep. have slowed down and be more consistent there. There was loads of those in my mind. I wrote them all down after I'd finished the ride and I thought I'm going to try that again in a month and break the 85. Yep. However, I really wanted to go. I want to get closer to my 60. Obviously, I'm not going to do that at the moment, weighing what I weigh, but I wanted to get closer to it. Anyway, cut a long story short, I was also at the same time in conversation with Eric about doing a race together because I love his channel. I asked him if he would do a race with me. He yep. said yes. Um, and then I saw his verification tick. I got all giddy and excited. <laughs> um, and he actually suggested, why don't we do a race up the Alp? Um, and I thought, okay, this guy's on drugs. Um, and, you know, he's crazy. Um, uh, and I thought, okay, I'm going to announce it. I'll put it out there um, and invite as many people as I can to come and join us. And yep. that's kind of it, really. That's the story. Um, he, you know, we agreed a date that we could both make happen. And, uh, and yeah, everything else, everything else fell into place. I didn't expect, and I think, Eric, I think you were the same as this, when we announced it, I didn't expect there to be anywhere near the response that we mm. got. It was unbelievable. Yep. So and how many people, of people How many people signed crazy. up for it? So on the actual app itself, on the morning of the event, we were in the 360s. I think it peaked at 368 signups. Wow. And then when we actually joined the pen, yep. um, it was uh, when it when it hit zero, yep. it was 240 something. 241. Just so everyone know that. 241. Um, so 241 is, in, is, in, is impressive. They were probably it's, it's like Australians. They're, they're a bit uh, you know, flaky. They sign up for stuff and just don't turn up. <laughs> there were about 10 Australians. Tops. That was it. Although, um, there were, do you know what? I think that's quite impressive. There were, there were quite a few yeah. uh, non-Europeans in there as well. And the yeah. time difference, the fact that they were on there doing it at that time in the morning was unbelievable. And so um, there were some cool people. What, so Eric obviously was in this as well. And Eric, yeah. what was your job in this? My job was to basically just yell at Ryan for <laughs> yeah. 80 minutes and make sure he get, got up to the top and wasn't going to give up and wasn't leaving anything on the table. I am going to say it's going to be this week's video. And for anyone, shameless plug, because I know I've got a lot of uh, Eric's fans watching this as well. So anyone that wants to come and check out my channel, please feel free to do so. I very much appreciate your subscription. And uh, it's it, it's going to be this week's video. And we started off with a lot of banter. I was, I was starting to edit it today. And it was really good, really good banter, really good fun. And then as soon as it started where we are now, I don't know what turn this is. Last turn. Uh, this is at the top. Yep. This is the last turn. Well, I'm, I was dying way before this part. <laughs> and... Uh, it was at one point I had to apologize to Eric and it took me half an hour to do so because I couldn't <laughs> breathe where he was literally just talking to me and he was yeah. the best person for it. Cause yeah. if anyone's watched his channel, you know, Eric talk. does not need me to talk to. <laughs> so he was just talking to me. Um, and I had to apologize because all he got off of me was heavy breathing. I mean, people pay a lot of money for what he was getting. Um, <laughs> He was getting that for free. It was crazy. Yeah. He, I was getting it. He was awesome. Eric was awesome. If anyone needs a hype man and a, and a pacer, he was good as well because he didn't just sit in front of me. Yep. He was going ahead. I mean, I, I, I don't think he had much choice because oh, he, yeah. he couldn't pedal any slower. <laughs> yeah. But he was going ahead <laughs> on the I flat. I wasn't trying to go ahead on purpose. <laughs> no, but he was. He was going ahead and he was finding out where the peaks were, where the troughs were. Yep. He was giving me good advice. He was telling me when to push. He was telling me to calm down. Um, it, it was perfect, perfect. 
Yeah, no. I well, think I got a bit uh, emotional at one point, and I actually told him I loved him as well. <laughs> so, uh, what, before yeah. before the ride, or no, in the middle. Oh, okay. In the middle, oh, I right just then. hadn't spoken to him for about forty minutes. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, I felt like I needed to give him something. Yeah. So, yep. yeah, yeah. And we we're trying to judge. And assumedly, all you YouTube experts, uh, you know, managed it properly, and you know, went through the banner without any props. Well, oh, that's like, interesting, isn't it? Why, why, what's up with all yeah. these banners never being where they need to be? Yeah. And like, I saw it, so I already like I learned my lesson. Yeah. So I I knew what was about to happen. So I was yelling at Ryan, like, "Buddy, keep going, keep going." I, yeah. Yes, just keep going. Do not stop. I need yeah. you to see that wheel. Like, don't worry about the leaderboard. Keep going. It went wrong, didn't it? It went wrong. Uh, so we got Rob's. Rob's. Rob spilled the beans. I was hoping to get away with this. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> no, so it's good. It's all good. That's no, all good because Nathan's playing the video anyway. So oh, I'm definitely going to show good. you. It it feels like a court of law. Yeah. But uh, but at at this point you can't hear it. And again, please watch the video this week because um, you'll you'll love it. It's, it's so good. And Eric is screaming at me and i mean he at one point he threatened to leave um <laughs> if i didn't push um uh, he, he did this isn't i'm not joking um and he was just he was awesome and i just had nothing i mean look at my heart rate i'm at 180 yeah um and this is i mean i'm sprinting after just doing you know god knows how long up the alp and i get to the banner and i think god thank god this is over so good and i'm wondering why he's still screaming at me yeah. why are you still screaming at me i've well, finished I have. I haven't it, finished. If it helps, listen to what I was going on about. So I don't know if you can hear me in this. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going to the banner, keep going to the banner, keep going to the banner. And you stopped. <laughs> Go to the I banner. Stopped. Oh. Yeah. And so oh, then you realise that long wasn't too bad. Yeah. But here's my question though. After that, which what? was. How how many seconds did you miss breaking the or getting sub eighty? Do you want to say, it, Eric? Or should I? Are we telling them already? I guess everyone kind of knows. Yeah, it's. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it because listen, the, the the video the video is um. Oh, uh, is, then is the experience of the ride. Okay, but I, I'll keep it. I'll keep it a secret. I'll keep it. Yeah, a secret. keep it a secret. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You have to watch the video. It's um, but overall though, uh, it was incredible, and the amount of people that um, sorry, I'll get off me. There we go. The amount of people that uh, joined in, but what I was really impressed about was the the sheer volume of the comments in in the game. So while people were were writing, um, there was just a huge amount of chat going on, more so than I've seen in nearly any other group ride or event that I've been in. Um, it was incredible, and this I think is a testament to you, Ryan. Um, which is even after most people would finish, everyone hung around to wait to for you to finish, and all the comments and all the the positivity and the encouragement was just um, unbelievable. So for anyone that was in that ride, um, and I can see a few people here: Arctic Swifter, Drumto, um, Vincent. There was a few, a lot of people that were that participated. It was really incredible, and just it was pretty powerful. It was really good, really good event. Yeah. I couldn't say it better myself. It was phenomenal, so yeah. good, and I couldn't have done it without Eric. You know, and I'm not—I'm not just saying that because he's on here, but he <laughs> yeah, was—he yeah, was so. I, oh no, he was so good. Yeah, it was—it was just it was constant the whole yeah, way. It, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, well, Paul um, Young yeah, yeah. saying some of them finished and then came back down and joined you. Again. Yeah, they did. Oh, they right. did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, there was loads of people that finished, spun around, and then came and joined me. Yeah. Because um, oh, nice. my because I thought I was doing really well. I think, oh great, I've caught people up. Yeah. No. <laughs> people have... <laughs> I wasn't just... I wasn't catching a cold on that on that <laughs> client. Um, there was there was some there was some serious seriously good people seriously good rides. There was one guy, and initially it depressed the hell out of me. Yep. And I was actually quite um, I was getting quite you know I was like how is he doing this? And yep. then and then it made me laugh and I loved it. There was a guy next to me the whole way. On a cruiser. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I saw one moment there where um, I had switched across to you halfway through and I saw a guy on a, an atomic cruiser um, just kind of sail past you. And then yeah, it, it, I, it could have just been me, but then I swear I saw you stand up and sprint to him to catch him back up again. Yeah. So 
Uh, I thought, yeah. oh, he's not having any of that, is he? He doesn't want him to to go yeah. past him on the atomic cruiser. But I wasn't, uh, I wasn't letting him let any wheels go. No, no, yeah. no, no. He wasn't. He was picking people out in front of me and making me target them. Yeah, he okay. was calling them names. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I have right, to okay. watch my video back, but yeah, I definitely yeah. called people. Yeah, the, the poor vegan guy. The poor vegan guy. Oh. The best bit. The best bit of the video. <laughs> the there was this vegan <laughs> who. The poor vegan guy. There was a guy in front of us. He was he was about a good four hundred meters ahead, and Eric made me sprint right because he had vegan in his name that appeared oh, on the right hand okay. side. So and I just got I just got make him eat steak right, and I thought at this point I really don't want to tell Eric that I'm vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I thought. I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't have said it anyway because my heart rate was at 185. <laughs> but I, I, it cracked me up inside. I was absolutely, yeah, so good, so uh, good. That's, that's incredible. Too funny. Yeah. That's too funny. So, um, just for everyone that's watching, then, and now I can tell that everyone's dying to to watch your video, Ryan. Um, go go to Ryan's channel at Ryan Condon. Subscribe to that. Turn on the bell, the notifications, so you'll get notified yeah. when Ryan posts that video. And um, it'll be up yeah. Friday at 4 p.m. There we go, Friday at 4 p.m., BST, and, um, yeah, go check it out. But no, fa- as well, fantastic. has got his, his one coming. Um, final question on that. Have you thought about what the next one's going to be? Because clearly you what, can't leave it. Yeah, you can't leave it at that. <clears throat> um, so, I, 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 honestly, I, if I did a flat race, could you imagine? I had 300 people signed up for a, for a, a race up the Alp. Imagine yeah. if I did, you know, Watopia flats you know i'd have i'll break the system um but uh i i, I genuinely don't know if anyone's got any ideas yeah. of what they'd like to see please don't say v F- everest in up yeah. uh Ventop. Up I'm yeah Ventop. Eric, i've had I, eric what do you think um yeah. ryan should do what should be what should be his next uh challenge do you think oh man i don't know i don't know i wouldn't like i don't know maybe full prl or... that's a good that idea mean? what does that mean that's... oh that's uh... Oh, round and round London. <laughs> yeah, like all the climbs. Yeah, going up Box Hill. Uh, how many times are we going up Box Hill? For that Twelve, one? I think. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Over and over <laughs> and over and over. Maybe, and maybe we should do the Four Horsemen. The only yeah. reason why I say that too is because I need that stupid badge. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> either. Arctic. Maybe, maybe Arctic's a good idea. Arctic Swifter is definitely saying Ven Top. You, you I, like Ventop? You know what? I I haven't been on Ventop fully, really personally. Yeah, uh, I don't really want to either. Uh, so I, I'm a hard. Pass I've done it in real life, and I haven't done it on Swift. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't I'd miss an opportunity. I rather do it in real life. I rather do it in real life. Don't miss an opportunity yeah, to bring yeah. that into you, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> um. So speaking of that, um, I just want to let everyone know uh, we have started a Discord server. Um, in the Drops Discord uh, channel. So if uh, there's a link in the description of this video below, go along, go and join that. If anyone does have any suggestions on challenges or other events that they want to see um, have happen, uh, let us know and, um, yeah, we'll try and we'll try and figure it out. Only if you're a cool kid, though, because it's all the cool kids there. Every, everyone who's a cool kid in Swift is uh, <laughs> on the Discord server. Um, Eric, um Quick one, or not a quick one, but I do want to touch on your Winspace um, ambassadorship. So mm-hmm. just, A, give us a quick overview of who Winspace are, and B, how did this come about? Oh, I mean, I mean, everyone knows who Winspace is. They're from China, and they make some pretty nice wheels yep. at good prices, and they make some frames as well. Uh, and again, tons of YouTube videos from lots of creators for the product mm. all online. Um, but I did get hooked up with a local shop yep. uh, in Toronto, um, Forza Performance, and they actually turned out to be uh, the Canadian distributor for oh, Winspace. Okay. So right. being connected to the shop led to being connected to Winspace and then new opportunities as Winspace is trying to continue to grow outside yep. of China and into different markets. And uh that's just how it came to be, which is pretty crazy. Like at the end of the day, I wasn't looking for it. It just kind of just, fell into my lap. Just and happened. I can't really complain. Yeah. It actually, I when I started talking to the shop, all I wanted was to get some wheels. I was looking yeah. for deep wheels yeah. for my bike. Yeah. And 
then it led to becoming an ambassador and then it led to them becoming the distributor and then led to this which is pretty cool that's so, awesome can you yeah, um... it, it's pretty crazy seeing like a post about me on the hmm. main WinSpace ig account and when yeah. i saw that i was like oh yeah that's kind of crazy that's, cool. that's, that's yeah, it that that's was pretty cool, cool. congratulations thank you yeah. thank you can thank you, you um get, how, how possible is it can you hook me up with a set of wheels can you send a set of wheels <laughs> over to australia <laughs> <laughs> we can talk we can talk afterwards we can talk <laughs> because uh they do make some pretty good stuff so uh and um and racing frames as well so for anyone that's interested you can mm -hmm. go along and check it out but um yeah no it's uh it's fantastic and so is is part of your the vlog that you're sort of now doing because you did your first or your second vlog the other day outside mm -hmm. yeah it was kind of like my first vlog of the year i call it yeah I guess. yeah I'm just trying something different taking an opportunity where uh, I was doing a ride that is going to be kind of uh, different, uh, probably some, something that you guys might want to see. Mm. And then I just want to try to expand the channel a little bit, not yep. just racing inside and yeah. try to bring some more content, especially since if I'm not going to be inside as much during the summer. Yep. So, yeah, it was just a good little uh, fun activity I did and <laughs> just tried my thing of vlogging and you and know, biking around my hand out and people <laughs> looking at me and I was like, oh God, they saw me. They heard me. <laughs> and then I'd be like, I'd be like this. I'd be like holding the camera yeah. out and then I'd be like biking. Like, oh, yeah. there's someone there. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Camera down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. We're done. We're done. We're done. Camera back on my chest. Uh, I'm still. It's so know, true. It's so I, I true. I don't like yeah, doing yeah. it. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. like, well, yeah, I'm very self-conscious. Like. Yeah. And to be honest, it's funny in different settings. I'm actually very, yeah. very quiet. So, yeah. like, it's pretty crazy. So, <laughs> and it was just a, a good way to try something different. So, I, I just work on my editing skills and yeah. uh, all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. So, Stephen, I, Stephen in, I was just going to say, Stephen in the comments just said that broadening the content is working for you. So, people are obviously loving it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And yeah. I can yeah. see, like, the. The views are there, the likes are there, everyone's loving it. Yep. Like so, I mean, it just makes me want to bring out some more. So, got more. lots more in the hopper. Have more ideas. So, we'll see if I can bring them all to fruition. It all just comes down to if uh, how lazy I am to edit, right? <laughs> yeah, Ollie's saying the same thing. He's liking the outdoor stuff. Awesome. I, I right. wanted to ask how much of your online stuff because when, when we're talking to you now you seem very you know naturally ebullient and you know <laughs> joyful but do you have to put on an act at much at all when you're when you get on the bike not really just act a fool that's <laughs> yeah, all it's yeah. pretty easy just yeah. uh be extra just yeah. be entertaining yeah. for yeah. the camera right like yeah i mean uh, sometimes if you watch yeah, my get early early vi videos you'll see i was a robot right yeah. like oh uh, right yeah, yeah it's very but cringe it, so yeah uh as i've i mean by doing hundreds of videos you kind of develop yeah. a style yeah. and you find what works and what mm. doesn't work and you just become more comfortable and um yeah and having so many hooks do. i mean i've got i've got like two or three but you've got like hundreds oh, of little hooks you know yeah, your yeah. catchphrases your your you just, rules yeah, you, you whatever just come up with random things and if you mm. say it enough and if you watch but, the you know it's enough, it's, it's, it's the language is like spread throughout it, you know, it's riffing so that yeah. so much so that you, yeah. you sometimes it's I'm funny. saying stuff like, and I'm like, oh God, that's when Eric's. <laughs> when I hear prime I'm just time, I'm Eric. Like, yo, that's me. I, I started prime time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I get embarrassed sometimes when you join my streams and I'm saying your words. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hey, sorry. That, okay, sorry, okay. I stole that I'll from you. I'll check later, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, Rob, before you know it, you'll get hit with uh, copyright infringements. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially um, now he's orange ticked verified. Now, um, Ryan, uh, so this week uh, you've got your, well, we, we talked about it and you've got your first segment. Um, I have. It is your video of the week, although I thought it was going to be one video. You've actually done a couple. I've done three. Done I've three, done three. So three videos. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, so what was your, um, what was your the criteria? Just interesting videos, just to set the premise for everyone before we play the intro and get into so it. So I thought, yeah. So I thought the fact that you know I'm on the show now, and yep. you know I was inspired with Eric being on the show, and the fact that I had discovered Eric because of YouTube, I wouldn't have known he existed even if I was a Swifter. I discovered Rob 
because he's a he's a YouTubing Zwifter yep. or yep. Zwifting YouTuber. Depends how you want to look at it. Yep. Um, you know, and and also you, Nathan, as well. You oh, you know you you uh, you participate, and I discovered you for you. Anyway, so <laughs> cut a long story short, I thought it would be really really good if every week I come up with at least one, maybe two, depends how much time I have, maybe three videos that I can share that I think people would enjoy watching yep. for different reasons. Oh, let's check it out. Okay, so this is my tenuous link of the week section. This is the section where Nathan and Rob have let me loose with my camera and I have pre-recorded a quick section on, and you've probably guessed it from the uh, intro, that Nathan, really good intro by the way. So as I say, this is one of the tenuous links of the week. One of the huge benefits of Zwift is its community. If you need an example of that, it's me. 12 months ago, I had zero interest in cycling, and now I'm a co-host on the number one right, I've muted the mics. centric podcast on the internet. YouTube is very similar. I told you it was a tenuous link. Rob, Nathan, and myself have all come to know many new people through YouTube and Zwift. We've also come to know each other through YouTube and Zwift. We have collaborated and shared experiences online with people like Team Kaboom, Maddie LaRue, Don't Get Dropped Cycling, Eric Lee, who's on the show tonight, and many more in the future, I hope. So having said this, this new segment on ITD is Ryan's YouTube Pick of the Week. I'm still working on the name, so if you've got any ideas for the name of this cool segment, then please let me know in the chat or join our Discord, where you can make your submissions for this segment every single week. This week I have three really good YouTubers and three really good videos that I think you should watch. Number one on this list is Katie Kookaburra. She needs zero introductions with over 120,000 subscribers. Last week she uploaded her personal Paris-Roubaix challenge attempt and in a normal matter-of-fact vlogging style she shared what it's like to race in and be a spectator at this year's Paris-Roubaix. Good morning, good morning! Guess where I am? I'm in Roubaix. I'm about to do the Paris-Roubaix challenge. This video of Katie's made this week's list as I signed up for the Paris-Roubaix 2025 booking reminder after watching her video. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to sign up to the full race when it goes live as there's lots of cobbles. But her video of Paris-Roubaix experience was really, really good and one that massively inspired me. First cobble section done. That is meant to be the easy one. There's two star and that was worse than any cobbles that I've done in the UK. So I'm like, I've got another seven of them and they get harder. And then number two on the list is one from Jay Moa Cycling. Jared has recently returned from living in China and in his most recent video upload to his channel, he explains how he's had three months off his bike, lost fitness in his own words, and in the video he attempts to find out how much power he's actually lost with an in real life FTP test. It's a really, really fun video as he breaks down the results of his FTP test and he also then discusses his plans moving forward. Now he's back in the UK and probably more importantly, back on his bike riding. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how much power I have lost from my legs in the last three months. The first 10 minutes went pretty well. I settled into a nice river and trying to hold as high a wattage as I can. And then the third and last video on my list for you to watch this week is from someone who is a friend of the show, Oliver Chi, and his channel Z Race Central or Z Race Central, depending on what part of the world you're from. He makes engaging and informative vids about Zwift, but the one I've chosen for this list is one he made nine months ago now. It's called It's Just a Game. It's more like a short film, only three minutes long and a break from his normal on-point hints and tips brand he's better known for. In the video, he tries to get across that feeling of Zwift that every Zwifter who loves Zwift knows and feels every time they work out or race on Zwift. That feeling we can't quite articulate to our non-Zwifting friends when they ask us why we race in our bedrooms or in our garages on Zwift. I always answer this question with, because I'm still trying to win a bloody race, but that's a <laughs> different subject. It's a really good video and I suggest that you check it out if you're looking for something a little bit different to the normal smash and grab videos we see on YouTube about Swift. <laughs> it's amazing to think about how many days I spent in the garage watching my avatar pedal around Watopia. But for me, Zwift is not just a game. It isn't just an app that I can use to get stronger. 
Instead, it's an opportunity for me to learn, develop, and most of all, socialize. So as normal every week, I'll leave the links to all these videos in the description of our live stream or podcast, depending on what platform you're listening or watching on. So please check them out for yourselves and maybe be inspired to do a bit more, go a bit harder, or just watch on the sofa with a bag of popcorn. It's entirely up to you. As I mentioned before, we now have a Discord channel. We would love it if you could join and share your Zwifting related video ideas, ones that you've watched, that you've enjoyed, and your suggestion can make it into next week's Ryan's YouTube video of the week section. Seriously, <laughs> please also help me out with the decent title for this segment. Link is in the description for the Discord if you wanna drop a few ideas there because they will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much, back to the studio. Oh, how fantastic was that? That was awesome. <laughs> Give you a little clap for that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank that you. That was great. Three great videos. Ooh, delayed applause. <laughs> delayed applause. Which was so well done. Lo so done well. Like my sprint. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, that was that was really great. And so um, the links to the uh, videos, um, each of those videos, we'll put in the description of the video below. I've just yeah. posted the Discord link there, so please jump into the Discord. Um, if, even in the general chat, just uh, if you've got any ideas or videos that you want to share with us, throw them in there. And uh, Ryan will pour through them um, because he has nothing else to do and uh, put them together for the next <laughs> week's show. <laughs> uh, I like Paul, how you Paul delved was... into the, you know, you, you found a classic from the past. I think you should try and do that every time. Oh, Yeah, I'm not going to go for the obvious. It's too yeah. easy, um, you know, but I, I, I did resist the urge to put one of or, or, all 27 of Eric's videos that I've watched this week. <laughs> um, I did, I did re resist the urge, but he's definitely going to make many many shortlist in the future oh he's on every shortlist he's on the bloody oh, no. video of the he's, week every week too, it, it, it'd have been too obvious if he was on this week so i feel like i need to say that because he's looking a lot straight of darts at me. out yeah <laughs> yeah all right i um, also want to say a big shout out yes. to paul young in the chat as well because he's just written great picks ryan love the segment oh paul's a great <laughs> paul's great yeah. all right yeah. um and an rt has just written rigged <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, hey, it, we're going to do the quiz. We're going to do a quiz. We're going to do, we're going to do a yeah! quiz. I've got a, hang on, I've got a quiz thing. There we go. All right. So. You've said I won't like it. Why you won't like, like it. it? What are you okay. Doing? Uh, so we do a quiz at the end of the show each week um, where people can join in live and participate live and go head to head, particularly with Rob, because he tends to win these quizzes more often than he doesn't. Um, Eric, oh, you've probably seen I've a few of these. Twice. Yeah, so, I, tried, I played my first one last week. I mean, oh, how'd you go? I was Good. Late last week. Oh, I okay. Pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he got dropped. Two questions. Yep. So here's it's the on. thing. It's I on. was tr I was trying to think of something we could do for the winners who do beat Rob. Now, unfortunately, um, the production budget doesn't extend far enough to us uh, sending out prizes or t-shirts that kind of thing yet. I'm sure that's going to change in the future. But then I thought, well, what else can we do? to make it really worthwhile for people to try their best and try and beat Rob. And so I came up with the winner of this week's quiz, uh, if it's not Rob, obviously, gets to choose one of three challenges that Rob has to complete on Zwift. What? Yep. Now, yes. Rob, at any time, you can decide not to participate in this, which will be completely fine. So it's entirely on you. If you want to join in, you can. If you want to um, uh, go head to head with our uh, our the, the the channel here. Oh, wow. So do you want to hear I, what the the challenges are? No. Yes. Yep. <laughs> All right. So the winner, if it's not you, Rob, the winner gets to choose one of three challenges, and you have to do it before the next show next week. So the challenges oh. vary in degrees of difficulty. So I'll give you the easiest one first which is to do the repack ridge ride with your play controllers and have to, <sighs> to, to turn and go around and do all that. Okay, that's the first option. The second option, now I'm undecided about which is the harder of these two. The second one is a full FTP test. Oh, God. How long does that last? I think it's like an hour. An hour?! I'm pretty sure it's an hour. Serious? It's an hour? <laughs> and the FTP third hour test? FTP. Yep. Jesus, the... man. You might as well pull my toes off. <laughs> and the third one, the third one is you have to race in a Z race, a typical Z race that goes on. 
but you can only ride on a TT bike and you have to finish in the top 10. I don't think that's in the rules, sorry. Yep. No, that's exactly what has to happen. To. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to break the rules, sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? You can't ride a, a TT bike in a race? No, you're not allowed to. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. If it's within the rules, then oh, okay. If it's in the rules, we'll do it, okay? So the winner, if you win the, the quiz, everyone that's listening to this, if you win the quiz, you get to choose one of those three things that Rob has to do. Now, Rob, are you willing to um, accept that? Uh, if you win, it's no issue. I can't remember where I've gone this week. Um, I, I don't know where I've gone this week, but and you've thrown this at me at the last moment, but <laughs> yes. If I possibly can, yes, yes I will. Okay. All yes. right, this is good. good. Okay. What's, hang on, what's the pin, Nathan? What's the pin? I am just getting that up right this moment. I should have been doing this while I was talking, actually. How do you feel, Rob? Very nervous. I used to enjoy the quiz. Now it feels like awful. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. You'll be fine. You'll win it and it won't be a problem. Or will you? Oh, man. <laughs> All right. So I'm getting. The, I only uh, won last week because I got lucky. I guessed one of them. Yeah. Oh, no. I trounced everyone last week, actually. You know, it was a complete whitewash. <laughs> okay. So um, we, I, I know that we've got a few new people to the podcast this week. Uh, so how this works is go and grab a your phone. You may have to swipe away from our YouTube stream at the moment, but go and grab a phone, go and grab a laptop, an iPad, something like that, and either scan that QR code that's on your screen there or go to www.kahoot.it and enter that PIN code, uh, 746-2634. Now, you'll be asked to enter a name and pick a funny character. That's it. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to create an account. You can just join into it and uh, you can play along. Um, and we can see there's a bunch of people already signing up, which is great. Now, the rules are for the quizzes. That a, you need to get the question right to get points. But B, it's also the fastest. Okay? So if you can answer correctly and you're very quick at doing it, you'll get more points and therefore you'll head up the leaderboard. So, um, but obviously getting the questions right is a big thing. Now, there are a series of different kinds of questions. There are 10 questions in total. There are a series of different questions. Some may be picture reveals where you've got to try and figure out what the picture is and then answer the multiple choice question appropriately. Or you may have to type in the answer. Okay, so we might give you a picture and ask you what it's a picture of and you've got to enter the answer. Or it could be a true and false. So, just know that there's a few different kinds of uh, questions. Oh, we've got 21 today. I think everyone's oh. vying for a chance to uh, put you through the ringer, Rob. I'm going to be 21. <laughs> Someone's job is not, not Rob Bain. Is it, <laughs> what is it? Not Rob Bain. And, no. and the evil I love it. Say it. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, that's great. Whoever's done that, tremendous. Wow, look I've at this. I've gone in as a moose, I bet Canadian that's moose. MVDP. Uh, is MVDP there? But that's... No, I bet he's Ooh. not Rob Bain this week. Maybe that's... It's trying to annoy me even more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can see Eric's there as well. 25. All right, oh, so wow. hopefully everyone understands. Rob, final... Uh, <laughs> Georg's already said FTP test. Rob, final... Oh, man. You get a chance to back out. You still want to go through this? <sighs> Before I hit the start yeah, button? All right, we're doing it. Yeah, right. okay. Okay, let's go. All right. Question. Oh, can you get rid of the run sheet? Oh, uh, yep. Question number one, and this is how well do you know your Zwift routes? Which London Zwift route includes this real world road? Do you know, I thought I'd done this route, but I haven't got the badge. I've got it in Strava, but not in Swift, weirdly. Yes, it's what? a London loop. Yep. Uh, it's not Surrey Hills. Oh, nope. man. Of course it's London Loop. Of course it is. <laughs> oh, not, oh, Rod, no. not Rob Bain. Is oh, it is MVD oh. as well. It is, it is him. I knew it was So him. good. Whoever that is, well done. <laughs> They've got the... They've Question got the, number two. Ryan organised a Zwift event up up the Zwift. Um, how many riders actually participated? Boom. Here we go. They must have the, the link to our Kahoot thing. 
they're, they're just <laughs> hacking in. I'm sure it's, they are. I love all the excuses are coming out. Uh, I've only uh, mentioned this about three course. times. Damn it. Yeah. There's no excuse for this. Yep. No, that's a, that was a gimme, that one. That was. Did you get that one, Eric? Oh, yeah. Oh, well done. Yeah. yeah, we can see. Yep. DG DC has moved up the board there. All right. Question number three. Which Zwift route includes this real world road? Oh, God. I caught a few out with that one. You did. That was oh, that was a good one. So not Rob Bain Come is still on the Rob front Bain. there. <laughs> I can't see any Zwifty mm-hmm. Swifty mm-hmm. yet on the scoreboard. What's going on? No. I got the first one wrong. What'd you expect? <laughs> uh, I'm apparently 16 points behind Sam. Very close. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. All right. Next question. Question number four. Which bike manufacturer is Eric Lee an ambassador for? Mm. I better get that one right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at those others. They're all rubbish. We hate them. Yeah, that's right. All right. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. There we go. Rob's still. Oh, not Rob Bain's still in the front there. Not Rob Bain. Eric is. Uh, yeah, Eric, you're sitting nice and third, just drafting quite well there. I like it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice Question thing. number five: Which Zwift route includes this real-world street? Ah, oh, I should have got there earlier. Ah, oh. the red bus should have given it away. Molly jogging. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, if I mess that up, it took me forever to find a picture that didn't include the bloody Sean's arc. Elise. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it took me forever. So, uh, Sean's Elise. You didn't get it wrong, Ryan. I did. I got it wrong. Oh, oh what? No. What did you go I clicked. for? <laughs> I went for London. Oh, no. oh man. Oh, that's tremendous. Oh. That's great. Your own hood. That's good. I know. Sean's Elise. Oh, Sean's <laughs> All right. Uh, question. Oh, what have we got? Uh, the leaderboard. Uh, oh, Paul. Paul oh, Young's moved oh, up. Oh, Paul Young. Oh, I think he's looking to uh, set you up on a good challenge. I All am right. in sixth, apparently. Sixth. Well, you've still got uh, five questions to come back. Yeah. Four questions. Okay. Uh, AI generated an image based on the name of which of this Swift route. You got to type in the name of what you think this Swift route is. Don't stress too much if you think you've mistyped it. I've put in a couple of different variations, but you do have to get the general name correct. When I first joined Zwift, I tried to do this and I missed out by like 500 meters or so. It just wouldn't end. <laughs> yep. TikTok. Oh, I love the fact that Eric got that and he gave a little, a little pump. <laughs> <laughs> I think this will take me into the top five. Oh, look at Eric. Oh. Oh, I'm shot up second place. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's me and Eric. It's me and Eric. Come oh. on. How awkward. Oh, Simon's there, though. Simon. Simon how awkward Paul is it going to be if Eric actually Paul, wins and he has to close. dish out the this challenge? Oh, come on. Oh, please let that happen. <laughs> All right. Question number seven. Which Zwift route includes this world, real world street? Oh, I went early. I went early. Oh, no, I think I got it wrong. Oh. It's not Yorkshire, is it? No. I'm joking. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you get that? Oh, you got it right. I've got, 
I got it. Yeah, good, right. <laughs> I was just waiting for that. I thought there was, was a pain. Oh. Has he moved up? No, oh, no, he second. went even earlier. Wow, still nice second. one. Still second. Oh, I'm liking this. How many more questions? Oh, Three, come on. Simon, yeah, yeah. Simon lurking. Simon this and This is Paul. a great idea, Nathan. Right behind. I love it. Oh, All I right. actually get nervous. Question number eight. I like it. Zwift recently introduced the ability to turn off which feature? Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on. Gotta have them Twitter fingers. <laughs> Twitter how, fingers. How fast were you? That's the question. Oh, super fast. He was quick. He was not getting dropped. Oh, Rob. I think Rob's got something to fight for, though. Oh, yep, breaking. Nine, seven, one. Thank God they turned on, off Rob. breaking. Oh, oh, he's still in the front. Oh. Still in the front. <laughs> oh, did you do a double pointer, Uh I don't know. I don't go. remember. I might have. Two uh, questions. I might have. The last, the last one could be a double pointer. All right. Uh, question number nine. Which Watopia route is this? Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, Don't. I've got that. Oh, man. I've ridden it as well. Don't tell me you got it wrong, Rob. I think I got it wrong. Oh, I'll go wrong. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> how? Well, oh, hold up. Eric how, looks, looks happy. How did 19 people <laughs> think that that was the three sisters? Because there's three you big hubs. Yeah, well, you can't yeah. see the volcano at the beginning. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. The volcano. You gotta, gotta look hard. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh, not Rob Bain's come back. <laughs> Rob, what do you think, mate? Last uh, question. I think I, 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 you can't beat the king. The king, the t- king will always drive. <laughs> well, yeah. not today. It won't. We won't. Yeah. No, right. Eric's the king. <laughs> well, yeah, but I thought you were referring to yourself. That's not normally how you. No, no, no Eric's. <laughs> the, I always. Uh, the king is always Eric. Okay, I've gotcha. always said Eric's the king. All right. Final question. Here we go. True or false? Fifty-fifty, Rob. Stage one of this month's Lap It Up series was Glasgow Crit. Reverse. Important yeah. details, Nathan. Wow, it's on the screen. I'm not going to read the whole thing out. Ten got you it said wrong. It was Glasgow Crit. Well, Glasgow Crit was... circuit reverse. Well, that's all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Simon, oh, well done, Simon. Simon second. Here we go. Oh, oh, Vincent. Vincent. oh, Number one. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh it's even got the glasses. Oh. Hold on, I'll get this one. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Congratulations. Well played. A great quiz, well by done, the way. Eric. Very, very good quiz. Oh, that's okay. Thank you very much. Uh, so, Eric, and now begs the question, which of the three challenges do you want to see Rob try and oh. complete this week? <laughs> repack, reach, repack, reach, repack, reach. I love the, I love the laugh. I That's... can't wait. I can't wait till I get tagged on YouTube for you doing an FTP test this week. Oh, oh you, I oh, hate you. Yeah. I'm unsubscribing, unsubscribing <laughs> tonight. <laughs> You're one of your biggest ever fans. I'm unsubscribing. The general FTP. consensus. A full no, FTP I've say, test. I've got to say, the, the FTP test was the fan favorite in it the was? chat. No well, ramp so test. Well. No ramp test. No. Yeah, no ramp. FTP. Full FTP. Real full FTP. FTP test. Real FTP test. I've yep. never, ever done such a horrid thing in my life. No. <laughs> Marky Mark Zwift says, good choice. Yep. All you had to do was win. I mean. Yeah. How Michael hard was it? Michael says, evil laugh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Man. I mean, you win every other week. Or you could have said, no, I don't want to be part of this game. Right? Exactly. Yeah, that I would have gave... gone down really well. Like, <laughs> chicken, chicken. I <laughs> uh, love it. Well, have fun, Robbie. So next week, uh, it, shall I do the quiz and you have to do the challenge, Nathan? No, uh, it... that's not how it's going to work now. Oh, really? No. Oh, man. This power is too intoxicating. Oh, to be fair, I think Rob's the only one that's got the ability to be able to actually win. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing as well. Yep. Yep. There's no point it being me or Nathan. No. <laughs> well, it might be Nathan. Nathan doesn't play the quiz, does he? No, that's, it's uh, too. It's, I, even I'm, I've only won one quiz out of 47 episodes. So 
But to be fair, I do yeah. most of the quizzes, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't um, even use the question which Alan had sent us. I thought I was going to have one, you know, one chance to that I'd, I'd be straight in there. Didn't what was the one that Alan sent through? It was one of the roots, like real life roots. It, well, that's where I got that idea I from. Inspired. That's what I got yeah, that but idea you didn't from. Actually, use his question. I couldn't. Well, and his picture. I couldn't find the picture. He could have asked. Yeah, no. Well, too late. <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, Can't back uh, out of it now. Damn it. Anyway, congratulations. <laughs> well done. I well done, cheat, Eric. So that was awesome. That was really good. That was fun. All right, guys. Uh, hey, I think we've um, we've uh, reached the end of another show. It has been awesome. Thank you very much, Eric, for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's been uh, fantastic, and we've uh, had so many people in the stream that it's just been uh, just incredible. Like, I think we're topping out over 55 viewers and just comment after comment after comment and i think now with the ftp test uh we'll probably have more people next week uh joining in to see what's going to happen you're welcome for all the extra views on your channel next week oh thank you very much that well, was next tremendous week. <laughs> next week here yeah, for the F rob ftp test that's right we're gonna oh, oh we could make you do that through the actual episode that'd be great no, no i won't do that to you no i won't do that to you <laughs> Because then I'll lose that quiz as well, and it'll be a never-ending cycle. <laughs> Just spiraling down, down, down. All right, um, let's wrap this up, guys. So I think we're going to give. Uh, we would normally, have, as you know, we normally have a, it's a weekly podcast that we do. I think next week we're going to give it a miss, um, only because oh, yeah. I've got some other um, some stuff on that I can't. Uh, I've got to take care of, um, and so. But episode forty-eight, which will be on May the third. Um, is going to feature Cy Bradley. So Cy is going to come on. We're going to have a chat with him and get to know him. And uh, for those that uh, haven't uh, seen him, go check out his channel. The link will be in the description below. Um, awesome guy. Really fantastic. Um, final comments, Ryan, before we wrap this up? I just want to say I am absolutely thrilled to have been here with, uh, with Eric as our guest. So, yeah, thank you very much for joining. Um, I've enjoyed spending time with you and yesterday I spent more time with you <laughs> last night than i did my own family so yeah thank you very much and i'm looking forward to next week's video uh, to next week's episode um it is going to be a good one rob and uh, i just want to ask it, this could be the this could be the opportunity for you to get bumped to a if you do a really really good max effort oh, great yeah let's make it extra fun the motivation's really <laughs> coursing through my veins now yeah. <laughs> all right uh, Rob, uh, bring us home, buddy. Well, I, I'm i just uh, inspired by the whole community thing. There's so many great people around. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, screw the haters. Let's, uh, you know, we've just got such a great community <laughs> around here. It is absolutely awesome. But can we get Eric to finish us off with the rules? Oh, jeez. <laughs> yes. Well, hang on. Eric, hang on. Let, me, let me finish up, and then I'll, we'll, Eric can uh, sign us out. So, um Thanks for everyone in the stream. There was just, there's just too many people. I would, I would normally try and go through and say thank you to individually the people in the stream. So many people. It's been awesome. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, do that, please. Hit the notification button. Leave us a comment. Share this link with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. Um, and that'd be great. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, keep pushing. You matter. Stay in the drops. We love you. Eric, send us out. Guys, don't forget the don't get drop cycling rules. Rule number one, have fun. Rule number two, keep it spicy. And rule number three, don't get drizzy dropped. Thanks, everybody.